Sunday and WJFK FM 106.7 movie reviewer yeah. Kevin McCarthy joins us with his prediction as to who is going to win. Welcome. Hey, you know, Steve, I can't Good shake see. all your hands today. That's but, one yeah. We could do I one really of these. I want you in front of me pump, to, yeah. 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 go see Tony, but just wave. How's it going? Hey, hey, Tony, how you doing? Hey, Kevin. We're usually right next to each other, but not today. Robin Williams. Sir, there is no way. I'm 25 years old. I never thought I'd be standing here talking to you in my life. Um, after the surgery, I'm glad I'm talking to you. I'm 25 years old. I never thought you'd live that long, Mr. Williams. Thank you. Hey, well, oh it's great to have you in the car, but I gotta tell you, when I was growing up, I watched Mrs. Doubtfire a thousand times a day. It is, in fact, you're not cross-dressing now, are you? No. Okay. Uh, a little bit. Okay, well, that's that's a, that's a hobby. All right. How about Mamma Mia? That's got to stack up pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry to disappoint. I love musicals, okay? I love Hairspray. I love Chicago. I love mm -hmm. Sweeney Todd. I love the producers. This movie, uh, and to be completely hacky, I wanted it to be a dancing queen and just dance out of the theater halfway through the movie. I, I gotta ask you about Twitter. Is that, okay. real, is that really you? No. It's not you. No. It's, been, been, it's been de-twittered. I've been twittering you know, and asking, I'm gonna find you on the red carpet. And, and yeah, I'm, I know. You just, been, you just killed my dreams. We de-tweeted the Twitter. It is honestly <laughs> one of the most, the p most poorly acted really? movies I've ever seen. Meryl Streep? She does an okay job, but Pierce Brosnan singing was like he was trying out for American Idol, and then Simon <laughs> Simon just threw him off the camera. It is horrible. Uh, going into a role like Dow as opposed to this, what, what's the mindset like? I mean, you, are you focusing more on the script as opposed to special effects? How does that work? I'm just curious, confused. Well, I tend to approach roles somewhat similarly. Just I come from a very character point of view. Is it worth the buzz? Uh, it's definitely worth the buzz. And again, I, mean, I saw this movie in October, and it's still it's blown me away since then. And I, it's definitely gonna take home the best picture. Uh, Award. You think? And here, here's the thing. Uh, the Curious Case of Benjamin Button is my favorite movie of the year, hands down. Hmm. But, and that's, and that's technically the better film, mm -hmm. but Slumdog Millionaire is that movie that bridges the gap between the independent film and the entertaining movies yeah. we see these days. Kevin McCarthy, WJFK 1067 movie reviewer. Kevin, I can't see you. There's a bunch of balloons in the way. Yeah, um, I'm coming up right now. I heard you about Shane over there. I gotta ask you. <laughs> Let's talk about Shane. If you don't mind, I'm, 20, I'm 25 years old. Yes. I, have a, I have like a 12 year old facial hair. I and mean, you can tell it's like growing in really awkwardly. Yeah. Can you give me some tips on shaving? Because I want to keep the stubble. I also don't want to keep it too long. I play it. I look ugly as hell. I do. You just got to keep at it, young man. Keep shaving. It gets a little more brittle with each shave. And by the time you're 30, you may still be screwed. And then, of course, the curious case of Benjamin Button starring Brad Pitt, the David Fincher movie. Unreal. I've seen it two times. It's three hours long. It feels like it's ten minutes. Wow, it's that's awesome. great. Let me say, uh, young Kevin, your uh, taste is maturing. Thank you very much, yeah. Tony. That's I a very I good appreciate list. That. Very good list. Uh, would, I, would I be a complete a-hole if I asked you to answer the question in Mo's voice? Would that be a problem? You would be an a-hole, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> All right, awesome. Look, because Mo loves a-holes. <laughs> Being an a-hole, yeah. it's very difficult for Mo to say no to another a-hole. In All fact, right. if you weren't an a-hole, I wouldn't have done it. You saw it last night at midnight. Right. I've seen it twice. I've seen it both in 3D and in 2D. Uh, I think it's generally the same film. The depth of field's a little different, but the story is unbelievable. You have Carl, uh, voiced by Ed Asner, who's a, just That's a grumpy old man who uh, puts a bunch of balloons on his house and floats to South America and gets into an adventure with a little kid named Russell. Hey, it's it's a pleasure to have you on. Oh, dude, that, that, that was awesome. By the way, if you don't win Street. Best Kiss at the MTV Awards... He's been campaigning I know, and you need to win. I, I want you to win. By all accounts, this performance is amazing. Yeah, when you see him on camera, it's so good, it almost makes you feel sick, because the guy is so... Frightening looking. But in Wedding Crashers, I remember that we pretended to cry, so maybe that was a good thing. You should have read Marley and me before that scene. <laughs> right. And there's no big stars. It's, and it, there's no right. big stars. So yeah. The movie has to carry itself. Yeah, it car right. and the screenplay is amazing. The director, Danny Boyle, had never even been to India before, and he mm -hmm. captured it in a light that's never been captured mm -hmm. before. And it's just one of those movies you feel great when you walk out. I think of it's yeah. got the momentum behind it. Do you realize how much debate there is around the office about it, how to pronounce your last name? I've been trying to. Well, I probably do it wrongly. I'm. I'm I'm half French Canadian, so it's probably Gervais. Yes, but I, was, I say Gervais, but I got call, I'm on the radio and I got called out for that. I say Gervais. I mean, you you would know. Gervais. Yeah. Some say Gervais, some say Jarvis. I say I say um, I say Gervais. Well, well, uh, that's gonna, uh, so I should know. So what I say is right, isn't it? You are correct. Exactly. So, it's sort of, so what is the final answer? Gervais. All right, Ricky Gervais is here. Uh, we're interviewing him on the red carpet. You've got into more of an S. Uh, oh. I said, you got to imagine there's a Z. Okay, Gervais. Ger so it's Gervais. You won't change it to a Z on your legal license, will you? Well, I say, I say Z.